So in this video, I am going to focus on some basics in plasticity and I'm going to create a simple ring. So I'm going to start with selecting the line tool. I can click it from the object panel here or I can use shift A. Now I'm also going to make sure that I have snap to grid turned on. By default it's usually turned off so I'll make sure that's turned on. And I prefer this for starting out simply because it makes my job easier. I don't have to think about precision as much. So I'm going to click these points of the grid and go all the way around here to create a face. Now I am going to click on this face and select the revolve tool from the dif different tools that are located down here. And I need to choose a point to revolve or spin this face around. I want it to go in this direction. So I'm going to go three units from the origin. So one, two, three. And then if I move my cursor along the axis that I want to spin around, then I can create a ring. Now I can also go in other directions and you'll notice that this creates different types of shapes. And we might want this in other cases, but in this scenario, I want to go here. I want to move along the Y axis. So I'm going to click that. And then when confirming a tool, often we'll get a dialog box here. So I need to either click OK, press Enter, or click the right mouse button and now I have confirmed that tool, okay? So at this point, I am going to make sure that I have just the edge mode selected. If I have these other modes selected, then when I click and drag a selection box around this area, it's going to select things that I don't want to select, so I'm gonna make sure that these are turned off I'm going to click on an empty space to make sure everything's deselected. Make sure that the edge selection is turned on. Select all the edges. And then I'm going to press D to create what's called a fillet or a soft edge. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. So then I will confirm this. And I want to make sure that I create a color. So I'm going to press M on the keyboard and choose a kind of yellowish gold color. I like this color. And let's make sure that our rendering mode is turned on and I'm going to click OK and voila. Now we have a shiny gold ring. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing, sharing this video with your friends, liking this video, and clicking the notification bell to stay up to date.